most of our acne products, whether they're drugstore products or even pharmaceuticals, right, the most commonly prescribed drug for acne is antibiotics. And back in the 50s, it was believed that acne was a bacterial infection. But starting in the 80s, the research started to tell us otherwise. And it started pointing towards inflammation. So this chronic, systemic, body-wide inflammation. And you know, decades of data started to pile up. And by the early 2000s, acne was reclassified from a bacterial infection to an inflammatory condition. Now, this is a huge paradigm shift in how we understand acne. And in my work, uh, what I've realized and, you know, just going through so, so much research over these years, I find that there's really six key factors. So the chronic inflammation, that's a big one, which can come from eating a pro-inflammatory diet. Uh, also, there's lifestyle factors that contribute to inflammation, like lack of sleep or stress, uh, nutrient deficiencies. There is a lot of documentation on certain nutrient deficiencies being associated with acne. So for example, vitamin A, zinc, omega-3. Uh, we know that gut dysbiosis is also associated with acne and gut dysbiosis contributes to inflammation, right? So there's like a whole chain, everything in our body is connected, right? There's, you know, your skin is not separate from your gut and anything else in your body. Um, hormone imbalance is, is associated with acne, stress, your thoughts can actually cause your hormones to change in your body, to the release of different hormones in your body that cause your skin to um, excrete more sebum. It increases your inflammation, right? Uh, and then the last one is uh, overly harsh skincare products, which are becoming more and more popular. These 10-step skincares, these very strong acids and peels and all these things. Uh, but for the most part, those first five things I mentioned, inflammation, uh, nutrient deficiencies, gut dysbiosis, hormone imbalance, and stress, these are all are mainly caused by our diet and lifestyle habits. So inflammation causes acne, but I think the most important takeaway is that you have so much control over your inflammation levels through your diet and lifestyle habits.